Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Alright, and welcome to another episode of War Room, where I just frantically sat down after realizing I was out of ice and a drink. So, we are fresh off of a great match between SWK and SJR, but first let's go around and introduce the guests on the show tonight. We'll start with Magician. Alright, I'm the Magician, uh, Steel Jaguar, and as well, I run the Run Hunter Die League. Alrighty, and then down over to Han Solo. I am Han Solo. I am the light lead and foreign minister for the Templars. And it is good to have you back. Uh, Antonius? Hey, I'm Rex, uh, leader for Swords of Cantares, and I'm guy in charge of Merrick Civil War, I suppose. Oh, come on, you're kind of important. Uh, Carp <laughs> is currently not here. Uh, hopefully he will be showing up in the next few minutes, so uh, we will get his introduction in when he comes, if he comes. Uh, and down in the bottom right, we have a returning guest with a webcam this time. Hi, I'm Harry78. I'm the EU drop commander for Steel Jaguar, and uh, supposedly the person running the EU team, but I'm just a figurehead. <laughs> He's like you guys, the queen. You guys like don't give queen. you. You guys don't you <laughs> give yourself enough credit. All right, so <laughs> let's talk about the match tonight. It was really fun to watch. Live shoutcasted over on the Roman Invitational. Uh, how'd that guys? How'd that go for you guys? Don't all talk at once. <laughs> that was, as usual, another uh, great series between the teams. You saw a lot of uh, team movement. You know, uh, teams actually flipping the map around and getting past each other. You know, and controlling the opposite uh, caps. We had uh, one straight cap, and then uh, you know a couple of attempts. So there's lots of different movement. But, yeah. Uh, so uh, three nothing for Steeljack though. They uh, they solidly dominated us there. Yeah, I think the one thing that defines uh, the matches tonight was pressure from both sides. We were both being pretty aggressive, moving out, taking control of map space, but fighting over for some of the same map space. For example, on Caustic Valley, we both went for, uh, what's that, Spine that comes off the Caldera, and they just happened to have their Highlanders probably spawn that right side, and were a little bit, or their victors, in a better position there to take it. So, as soon as they had it, we had to bounce off, and we just had to keep moving around, and they went for a base cap there, so it was really, they're really interesting drops, and from calling perspective, it was a lot of fun trying to react to all the different moves that were going on. With that caustic map example, it's interesting to see how many mechs are in such a close quarters with a little piece of terrain in between them. So they're not actually fighting, yet you still have 16 heavy and assault mechs, you know, just bearing down on each other, and then suddenly they pick over a ridge, and suddenly, you know, the shit hits the fan for someone interesting how terrain can work like that it was really piece. it was really a fun match to watch i had both streams up so i was watching side by side and it was it was closer than the 3-0 score would indicate it was they were good games uh, that last game in particular uh first of all uh, both teams i don't know if either team has played a comp uh assault version of the new map the hpg manifold so that was new for both of us, I think. Definitely for the rest of the UK. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I don't think we've played on that one before. It might have done a Conquest once, but I don't think so. And so I've, that was... I've never had it come up competitively. or Even in practice, I've never had it come up where I'm calling. So it's, it's like it barely exists. <laughs> and that was another example of, you know, the two teams collide. It's sort of in the center. There's that yin-yang effect where we circle each other, and then both teams did a cap rush while the heavies maintained the fight. Lots of uh, unit movement from both sides, definitely. It was really good, and this time I felt like um, the RTs decided it less. Um, you know, yes, our previous previous engagement, we just had some 
devastatingly game-changing RTs. Well, That's right. Here, here. Like, Art the last RT, four times you guys RT have kills. played, there's been, like, one-shot RT kills every single game, hasn't there? Exactly, and so this game, zero headshot RTs. That's new, right? Yeah. <laughs> Although, to be honest, like, on that, um, the Manifold uh, game, I got absolutely devastated by a single RT from Imminent. Uh, I don't know what happened. I, I mean, my mech was, like, you know, it had taken some knocks, but it wasn't that bad, and I just died. And it was... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened, and and I watched Pie Maker's view while I was dead, and him again. He took an arty, and and his legs just exploded, and yeah, he was. Yeah. I don't know if it's that map or something, but it's they a, hurt on that map. It's, it's kind of funny. It's not the best light players in the game dueling it out that forces the heavies and assaults to maximize their leg armor. You know, it's not Aura always saying go for the legs. You know, that makes you guys take that. It's the fucking Arties. <laughs> That's what makes us take that new yeah. leg armor. You know, that map might react differently to Artie Strikes, just thinking about it, because it's flat. So the geometry of the splash might be more likely to hit you as opposed to terrain. Yeah, that's yeah. possible. I, I think so, because, I mean, I don't know if we've got a recording. Oh, we must have the... We, we, we've got the stream. And you... Hopefully you can see what happens to Pie Maker. I don't think you, you won't see what happened to me, but... It's just completely ridiculous. I've ne never seen it do that much from a single RT. So. Uh, for anyone who missed the match, uh, obviously you can watch it on Twitch or the other way around, and then uh, the same for Imminent Stream. Now, hopefully, Raffle, uh, if you actually have a set stream of the dual overlay, uh, maybe we can I, I don't. That. I didn't. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't you stream that. I was. I was. Pu I was private testing it. Yeah. So, Siri, my basically co-host is not here tonight because I figured 3 SJR was going to be a little bit too much. So, <laughs> But I do want to talk about that later. Uh, we're going to be starting to cast matches finally. We've got that figured out. Got the overlay done. Got the structure settled. So that'll be happening. And also, since I started talking, Carp's now here. So Carp, introduce yourself, man. Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, so this is Carp Under, one of the um, senior drop commanders over at... Uh, QQ Mercs, or known as QQ Rage Quit Merc Corp. Um, I hit up the Comstar Titans of Rage team, and, uh, and that's an amalgamation of uh, uh, mostly QQ Mercs with some guys from Astraeus Titans. Uh, many of you know Hide Delight. And, uh, and then a couple of guys from Comstar Irregulars, who are uh, some friendly allies of ours for quite some time on the Comstar server. Sorry, I was trying to deal with something really quick. Uh, I shouldn't do that while I'm doing a fucking show. But yeah, so last match that happened was SWK versus SGR, and that was part of the Remnant Invitational, which is coming to a close as soon as I show you guys the bracket. So if we look on this fancy little bracket that Remnant was nice enough to make us, we just saw the result of that game, which was SJR versus SWK. Steel Jag wins, which sends the next couple matches are... BSK versus C Reddit, Comstar, Titans of Rage versus Blazing Aces. Then the winner of those two matches will face off, and then the winner of that match will face off against SWK, and the winner of that match will go back to play SJR. So it should be a fun end of the season. Uh, what games, just looking at this bracket, what games are you guys most excited for? We'll just, I'm going to ask everybody. Well, it, just every one of those games is going to be a good game to be honest uh, I suspect the Remnant will be shoutcasting the game they're not playing in so expect to see uh, you know those guys shoutcasting the QQ Rage Quit versus Credit game sorry I'm looking at this wrong you are I'm never mind take all that back we got it so yeah, yeah. Uh, next round Remnants out of next their next own round. Remnants next out of their round. own tournament round. Tony come on so presumably we're going to have both teams or both games uh, showcasted. Then, so those will be good watches. Blackstone Knights versus Credit. Those are two top-notch teams. I mean, Blackstone's probably uh, bottom of the A bracket, and uh, Credit's probably top of the B. So you know, pretty evenly paced. We'll have to see if Blackstone, you know, if they get that full roster and play at their best, uh, you know, they can do some real damage. But they're down a few guys. It's possible it's a pretty close game. Definitely. Credit's got some heavy hitters on their side now, too. Okay, yeah, sorry, guys. I'm just so trying to find a way to show you guys when people are talking, so I'm, I'm messing around with the stream. So if I go silent, just try and keep talking. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, what amazes me is the previous bracket or the previous round had all three two matches. I mean that's that's uh, that's a really exciting round, and that's uh, a good sign that the competitive field is healthy and that there isn't one absolutely dominant team. Absolutely, and I, that's a great point. Every single one of those games went five games. Oh, and that's encouraging. You know, it kind of proves the system works for uh, shuffling the best teams together and having good games. So I'm going to make some predictions here. I'm going to say Blackstone Knights beat C Reddit and Comstar Titans of Rage beats Blazing Aces. So I'm really excited to see those teams, two teams face off. Uh, yeah. You know, we just came up with playing Comstar Titans of Rage, which is a conglomeration of QQ, Comstar regulars, and AT. I forget what it stands for, but Astreus? you know, Astreus they, they have some really sharp shot players, and you know that gave us some trouble in areas. And I think that. Uh, that match, if that ends, ends up being against each other, is going to be a really tight. That one could be very good, yeah. Well, especially yeah, seeing that you know three two Steel Jag versus uh, Comstar Titans, you know uh, maybe they can take it against Blackstone. You know, come back. That they definitely got it in them. They've got some players, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah, let's. I mean, let's Carpenter weigh in, man. Yeah, well, last yeah. time, last time BSK and us faced off in the first round of playoffs. In Run Harder Die Season Two, the team uh, the team I fielded was slightly different. Um, I didn't have Heim Delight in a couple of the Astraeus guys, but I had uh, Chevette and I had Cavi Vitali before he uh, he left to focus Nightwatch Mercor. Um, he actually didn't participate in that drop against BSK, but we went five games on that series, and nice. that could have gone either way too. It was a really really close series. So what, we're looking for the rematch with uh, BSK and see who comes out on top. Yeah, that'll be a good one. And uh, not to put Blazing Aces down, they've, I mean, they've had their highs and lows, uh, but they're they're coming back from one of those lows quite strong. I mean, a 3-2 win over Remnant, that's pretty big. Uh, what other games do they have on this? Mm. Not sure for Remnant Invitational, but the point is Blazing Aces is coming back pretty strong, too. So that'll yeah, be a good so game to watch. Swords gets a chance to come back into it, so they get to relax for an, a, a week and sharpen up the... Uh, sharpen up the team uh, waiting for whoever comes out of those final four in the in the secondary bracket we i never want to say losers bracket because you know it, it's a secondary yeah. bracket you still have a chance to be a winner we actually sit for two weeks two rounds of games oh damn yeah that's gonna be well not that you guys won't have plenty of time to practice and things to practice for yeah so we're playing blazing aces on monday and BSK and and C Reddit are think are playing. Uh, shoot, when are they supposed to play? I think is it. They were, was it actually, tonight or was it yeah. next week? No, it was tonight. They were actually playing, but they um, the servers were all wonky tonight. I don't know if it has to do with the test server or whatever. So they kept getting disconnects and they've rescheduled for Monday night now. Well, this, it says uh, Blackstone's up two zero right now, and yeah. the last two they played Monday. Exactly. Are they being streamed? No, they uh, they weren't streaming. No, but, sorry, it's yeah. currently two nothing Blackstone over C Rat. That's right. Okay. Did G Man remember to show up this time? <laughs> <laughs> he it's forgot to show up lead. against the QQ in the QQ match. They That's right, because he was the same as Tony. Tony didn't know what day it was last week, so he wasn't on the show. And I was like joking about it in channel, and G Man was like, "Actually, I missed a match because I thought it was uh, thought it was Wednesday." Yeah. It's funny, two people thought it was Wednesday, not Thursday. Okay, I'm going to apologize to the stream for how kind of sketchballs that is, but with three people without webcams, hopefully you will be able to see those little TS lights up when people talk. All right. Um, Anything else we want to talk about on RI? Uh, well, the, the QQ Reddit match, uh, if you look at the chat, Drunkenuck, um, who was in that match, that drop five went down to conquest, and it was a two point difference, seven forty eight to seven fifty. That's how close wow. it was. Wow! Oh, I is, was that streamed that's by tough. any chance? I want to. Damn, that's right. It wasn't. I want to watch that though. There I might love be, close games. There might be someone on the QQ side who streamed that. All right, killer. I'll have to check that out. I love those close games. They're so much fun to watch. Yeah, they are good. Um. Do we want to make predictions about who wins RI, or do we want to wait until it's a closer bracket? 
Oh well, I mean it's it's Comstar Titans two uh, O for Blackstone right now. So let's say Blackstone Comstar winner of that plays Steel Jag. I mean there's three very powerful teams. No, winner into that the, plays you. Well, sorry, winner yeah, plays winner. us, and then the winner of that plays you guys. Point being that there's at least three very strong teams in the the bottom bracket. You know, so it, any one of those teams potentially has it in them. So in the in the Swords SGR match tonight, I missed it. I just could finish a meeting. But uh, what mode did you guys play in, and was it uh, was it a matter of loadout? What made the difference there in those drops? Uh, we played assault. Uh, Magician won the coin flip there. So it was a tough one. I mean, Steel Jags, they're you know the undisputed masters of assault mode, right? Must SWK we prefer our conquest. Whether or not that changes anything. I Harry, you look like an evil genius. You're just stroking your knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're just sitting there like... Good. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, sorry, sorry for that interruption. Games, really. I, we for me... Sorry, was I interrupting no, go ahead. someone? No, 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 go ahead. <laughs> um, no, they, they really worked well, you know. I mean, when we faced SWK before... Them guys, they know how to aim. They're, you know, really strong and they're really good at applying pressure at the right points. Um, but today, um, you know, they didn't lose that or anything. But um, I think in the first and second drop, there was some movement that we did that just really worked for us. Um, you know, you look at the first drop and you see, um, you know, halfway through that drop, we are basically surrounding SWK, and and that's kind of. Uh, that that really flipped it, and 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 Mag pulled a really nice move in the second drop, uh, where we you, you saw it where we switched up uh, through the Caldera and kind of you know left them fly. It, it, it must have hit them for six. SWK, you know, full credit to them. They they are the, my favourite team to play, but I think that that move really hit them today, um, and it was it, good fun. It, it good did fun. from our end. Uh, it definitely did. I mean, we were trying to cycle right to keep pushing that right flank on you, because kind of on Caldera, if you can push the right, you've got your Highlanders with their gun arm on that side, you know, so it, it helps to for, sort of force that. And you guys said, fuck that, and you just pushed right through the hot, hot zone, right into our flank, and that, you know, you caught at least two of us before we could shift properly. So that that was the game call right there. You're absolutely right, Harry. Yeah. I really enjoyed watching that one. That one and actually the last game were my favorite games. The last game just because I happened to notice SJR sneaking away. And I was like, oh, SJR's going for a cap, oh shit! And then I was like <laughs> watching Super Intelli, I was like, is SWK gonna notice? Oh no, oh no! <laughs> but I'm a, just a huge nerd, so that's alright. Um, okay, well, aside from the match tonight... Anything else we want to talk about with R.I.? Killer! Right. I'm gonna take... Well, yeah. oh, shit. Crap. I was just gonna say, I mean, well, well done to uh, Remnant for putting it together. Uh, it was nice to have something in between the two Run Harder Die seasons, because honestly, without the competitive scene, a lot of our players would just be absolutely bored and probably be playing something else right now. Oh yeah, I've been I've been playing well. It's I was the story of our community. I was gone yeah. for I was gone for two weeks, and I was at home, like away from my desktop. So I was playing so much Counter Strike. But uh, but yeah, we're back now, and that's good. Um, I just want to quick mention the new. A lot of you probably saw this on Reddit or wherever the hell Deadfire posted it everywhere. But the new Merc Star is up. Uh, I'll link it in chat. It's we're trying to make this a very uh, like place to be for all of the tournaments and all of the leagues and everything like that. Uh, Tony, um, I know you're heavily involved with this, so if you want to talk about it a little bit. Well, a uh, good chunk of the people uh, in this room are definitely involved with it. Um, but essentially what we're trying to do, yeah, as Ruffle said, is we're trying to put together the place to be for competitive Mac Warrior, And that's, you know, I posted it once, you know, Check out Merkstar. It, it's the, currently the source of all competitive mech war. You guys, Just everybody go there so it crashes, and I give Devfire more. Work. <laughs> Please, all all Actually, forty-two of you in the chat. Scroll up, scroll up to the top there. Right. 
Keep going. There you go. So look right there. We got Merrick Civil War. We got Run Hot or Die. We got Proxus. We got Remnant Invitational. That's all, you know, we're all working together under the Merkstar banner and, you know, trying to promote the competitive community. Because you can't stress that enough. That's what keeps players coming back is these leagues and these reasons to play. Because once you master 56 mechs, what else is there to do? <laughs> you know, we need an endgame content. And that's what these leagues are, is the endgame content for MWO. And before... You're giving me so many good segues right now, it's hard to <laughs> tell you just how much. So... Um... We'll go through go through the forums and go well, through I was the just gonna be like, so there Star has to offer. Merc Star, well, I mean, it's it's a forums, man. I don't know how much you want me to talk about it. Why don't you it's... start at the homepage? What was that? Start with, start with the homepage. Go right to, because you're okay. in the forum page, right? Right, right. So this is the homepage. Got Mercenary Star, all that goodness. Uh, I got latest news, latest articles, latest media, which for once isn't my show. What? Uh, and then we got latest league news. You've got streamers along the side, sponsors. I actually recently made... Uh, Merrick and myself sponsor logos, so those will be up soon. And then alongside, you've got all the articles, which is stuff like, if you guys remember, Versi wrote a couple articles a while back. And then we've also got media, which is stuff like shoutcasts, uh, SWK stream lists, every ar uh, archived episode of War Room and the news. And then we've got the league section. The league has news and every post about standings and everything like that from all the leagues. I believe it's it's going to cover everything, even like the new stuff that pops up, right, Tony? Yep. Yeah, all Killer. the new stuff as it comes up. Uh, it's important to note, too, this isn't just for sort of the, the main teams that make up Merkstar, but anyone can post. Uh, you look at uh, QQ's guys. We've got QQ Corner up there. Um, so anyone who has, you know, MWO content that they want to, you know, share with the world, uh, this is the place to be. You know, if you want to get, you know, some combat doctrine essays that you know you've only shared with the couple guys on your team who give a shit well here's a place you put it out for the world and Let then see. if uh if nothing of that if none of that floats your boat there is a form to keep you coming back we're going to hopefully try and make this pretty active get content going on it and all that jazz uh but somebody mentioned keeping a uh, abreast of new content and i just want to mention that harry was nice enough to link me to this which is the glass test for the uh, cockpit glass that we're getting. I'm just going to link that in chat. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think a lot of people were worried that it was going to be overdone, and it's really not. It's very subtle. It looks, I mean, a few of you guys watched this before the show. What do you guys think? Well, we know their art team is their biggest asset, and yeah, they've done a great job. You know, when you hear something from them, you're instantly pessimistic, and you think, whoa, what am I going to be getting a load of glare, I'm not going to be able to see on certain maps or something, but from that video, it looks good. Um, it looks like, you know, what you'd want, so and I think really pleased. They, they may or may not be adding damage to this. I remember them mentioning that. Um, I wish this guy would drop an arty on himself so we could see. But I think that they were said there was going to be slight persistent damage to the cockpit. I don't know if that will be in this iteration or not. Um, that's, but yeah. that, that's what we'd be worried about, though, isn't it? Like big cracks in the middle of your screen so you can't see anymore. Well, judging, judging by this, though, they've clearly thought about that. So they're definitely mm. making sure that it's not going to affect your vision. So it'll just be like yeah. stuff around the edges. I mean, maybe it'll hinder yeah, your vision the a tiny bit, but I don't think it'll be like, lol, your screen's completely cracked. Ha ha ha. <laughs> can't. Oh, oh! You just died, or you have no oxygen. You're playing on HPG network. That would be hilarious. <laughs> you get like an AC twenty round to the head. The armor goes down, and you just suffocate to death and die. <laughs> and uh, during the public test, it's going to be the most yeah, understated the test earlier. I was just going to say there it's were all these be... people commenting on, uh, when, you know, anybody got any Windex or my windshield wipers, shit like that. So um, wait, I, could I you can see it taking some adjustment for the beginning? Could you actually play on the public test this time? Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah. Damn it. We were actually able to group up and play, and oh. uh, and yeah, on on. So basically, it's like adding film grain on top of film grain <laughs> on certain maps. So it is a, it, It's not that bad. I was jump sniping, and it doesn't bother me at all. It gotcha. takes when the when you see the cockpit bob, you'll notice sort of like two layers of essentially like graininess uh, but within within a couple of minutes you don't notice it anymore cool well i think that'll be a fun just little immersion step in the right direction 
Um, yeah. Can't believe I didn't try actually playing. I'm mad. Uh, someone's asking for another link for that. I think you already posted it. Uh, minor segue to some questions in the chat. Uh, they were asking if... Do you have a section that highlights fan-made videos? Um, we currently have a, in the works uh, two sort of databases. One, sort of a collection of all the good fan-made videos out there uh, for anyone who wants to put them up for other people to enjoy. If getting hits is your thing, then maybe that'll help you. Um, the other thing is perhaps a database of... Uh, I know a ton of our teams have a lot of recorded games, you know, and most of those teams put them publicly out for people. So one of the things we're toying with is creating a bit of a database where you can see all the different recorded games for teams, you know, if you want to go back and watch some of these uh, games from back in the day. The other thing that I've been meaning to talk to both you and Deadfire about is, uh, and you guys probably would like this too, we need to make a team directory for unit colors so that I know who is pink and 